welcome back to another skincare favorites video. Today I'm focusing on body care. I have a few empties of some things that have been my ride or dies and a few new ones that I really like and think you would also find beneficial. So if you're interested in hearing on what I have to say, then go ahead and keep on watching. I would not be able to do a body skincare favorite without this. <laughs> Um, you've probably heard me mention Josie Moran before. I know she's not new necessarily, but her whipped argan oil body care and skincare is all amazing. So argan oil is so beneficial for the, for the skin. It has high amounts of vitamin E and high amounts of essential fatty acids. So it makes it a great anti-aging and product. It really helps the skin's barrier function to retain more moisture. And if you have really, really severe dry skin, highly look to an argan oil-based product. This is her whipped argan oil in a light bronze. I like the light bronzing line because it gives you a little bit extra glow. Although she does have products that do not contain any bronzing to it and you will still get a nice glow. This is just gonna give you a little bit of color. Vanilla peach, oh my God, so good. She does have unscented products too. And the scents really don't last anyway. Um, once you put it on, it pretty much just, just you know, evaporates. So you really wouldn't, you shouldn't have any allergic reaction to fragrance. These were a holiday offering from QVC. I believe two of these 13 and a half ounce jars were 63 bucks, uh, which normally an eight ounce is like 35. So if you're looking to get bigger sizes, you really want to look to QVC around holiday and you can really stock up on her product line. I think Sephora carries her too, but I don't know if they ever get the big sizes. So just be on the lookout for that. Okay. Josie Moran, good. The next newer product in my body care routine comes from Kapari. Kapari is a coconut oil line. They're known for using a very pure type of coconut oil. So it's a little bit more expensive because of that. This was their coconut crush scrub. So they basically finely milled Tahitian coconut shells to be that physical component of the scrub for your skin. So when you're looking to exfoliate, you wanna exfoliate either physically or chemically. This would be a physical exfoliant. I can't even tell you how amazing this smells like. It smells like brown sugar. There's no brown sugar in here. I have no idea how they did that, but oh my gosh, this was a splurge. This is 10 ounces and it was $39. So it's a little bit more expensive. Um, it lasted a couple, I'd say it lasted like three, three, four months. And I only did it, honestly, I probably only did it once a week, maybe, maybe twice a week sometimes. So definitely worth a go. If you're looking for a newer physical scrub and you really love coconut, give this one a try. Another product that is not necessarily new, um, it's been around for a hot minute, but it's new to me. I just did a lot of, I, I kept coming into Alpha Skincare and a lot of my reviews that I watch on YouTube, things like that from some other people I admire. So I thought maybe I should try it. This has 12% glycolic alpha hydroxy acid, which is an excellent way to chemically exfoliate your dead skin. It also helps with texture and fine lines and wrinkles. So being a more mature person, I have fine lines and wrinkles everywhere now joy of getting older and I can honestly say that this was a big game changer even though I was getting my hydration from my Josie Moran I was physically exfoliating my skin it wasn't until I added this alpha hydroxy acid where I really felt things were kind of working together I feel like the hydration was increased because I was getting rid of that that dead layer of skin both physically and chemically which I wasn't doing before and oh, my skin just felt feels really, really soft. So highly recommend this. And it can feel a little bit of that glycolic. It's strong. Um, so I rotate between alpha, then I do Josie, alpha, then Josie. I rotate around between those two. Deodorant. It's body care, right? Well, <laughs> I switched to an aluminum-based deodorant probably three years ago. And I've talked about native deodorant before, how much I like it, still do. This was my ride or die forever, especially the coconut and vanilla scent. I think they sell it at Target now, but I wanna say you get a better value if you order directly from Native. They give you three of these 2.65 ounce bars for $30. And they also change the scents, which sometimes is good and sometimes is bad. Like sometimes the scent combinations kind of irritated my skin. That was one thing I didn't like about it. And you didn't really, you really couldn't choose. 
um, it was only what they had for that season. But regardless, I still recommend the product. This is where it gets a little crazy. After about six to eight hours of wear though, the odor part of this like kind of starts to break down. So you can't wear this all day to work and then go out all night. Like you will, you will stay. It, it just happens. Well, at least I did. <laughs> Maybe not everybody, but for me, it did not last long enough. Um, enter in a newer one that I really like a little bit more by Kapari again, coconut oil based deodorant. They have this newer one that's got CBD in it as well. And this one has sage oil. Um, the one thing about the native also I want to make mention, it does have baking soda. That's part of their antibacterial ingredient mix that can be irritating to some skin types. This one does not. They also, the sage, I don't know if it's the sage oil in here or if it's the CBD, but the, the odor part of this deodorant works amazing. I can wear this all day and all night, no issues. It doesn't break down on me. Highly recommend this one too. More expensive though, this is $18 for one two ounce jar. Uh, so I don't use it every day. Um, I rotate it between that and my native, depending on what kind of activities I have going on, will determine which one I use for the day. But that's all I have for body skincare products. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're staying home and being safe, and I hope to see you in person very soon. Bye.